Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Bailey Turner, also known as Body Fit Balance on Instagram. And today I'm gonna to be taking you through a whole Peloton review slash ride video. I'm going to first go over all of the things that I love about the Peloton and then all the things that I am not a huge fan of. And keep in mind, I've only had this Peloton for less than a month, so I don't have a very great grasp or feel for how it works in the long run, um, but I'm gonna give you my first impression and thoughts thus far. So without further ado, let's get into it. my butt you do not need to waste hours on end working out go hard for 20 minutes and you're done all right so I want to first start off by saying that Peloton is super backed up right now if you try to buy on their site I think you have to wait anywhere from 8 to like 16 weeks to get a bike or treadmill thankfully I put on market Facebook marketplace that I really wanted a Peloton bike I put that in the search and then I saved it and got notifications for whenever somebody in the area posted one. And we happened to get this bike, which I think is a generation two, I believe, um, for a little bit cheaper than what they're selling for. I think it was like 200 or $300 cheaper than what they're going for right now. Um, plus you have to wait a long time if you buy a new one. So that really wasn't a huge deal for us. This has only been used less than like 10 times by the previous owner. So it was a no brainer that I wanted this one right away. Cause when I want something, I like, need it now i hate waiting and the longer i wait i would just keep pushing it off and then it would never get here so really glad that we got this used we saved some money and got to have it right away so if you want to save some money i would definitely recommend checking out facebook marketplace or like craigslist to try to get a used one because honestly they're just as good as a new one they don't come with the warranty that's the only con of buying a used one though so moving on to things that i like about this bike i think the classes are incredible like the instructors are amazing they kick your butt like I literally sweat so much and my legs feel like they're gonna fall off every single class I do. It is incredible. They motivate you so much. They like are right there with you the entire time. They play amazing mu music during the workouts. Um, and there's so many to choose from. Like seriously, I, I bet thousands of workouts to choose from. Um, not only do they have amazing like bike classes, they also have yoga classes, they have stretching cool down routines, they have running classes, they have so many different classes that you can choose from, not just bike classes. And what I really love about their app or their like membership site is that you can have it on a bike and then you can also have it on an iPad um, because your membership can go on an iPad and a bike or iPad and treadmill or whatever without having to get charged double for it. So I could put it on my iPad and then do like yoga or put it on our treadmill and do their classes on our treadmill. Or if I wanted to do like a Pilates class or a stretching class, I could have that on the iPad instead of doing it right here behind the bike. So the classes are amazing, the instructors are amazing. Their whole app, they just did it perfectly in my opinion. I think they really nailed it. I think it, there's a very strong like community um, of Peloton riders and you can use hashtags to follow along with your friends. So um, me and my like thick and thriving community with my guides that I've built, we have a thick and riding hashtag and it's so fun because we just high five each other when we hit new milestones and you can follow along on each other's journey and kind of like motivate each other to do more rides or hit other milestones. So it's super great and it's such a sense of community which I really love. Okay, another thing that I really like about Peloton is that the quality is very high. I think that this is the best quality bike that I've tried. I went to a local fitness shop and tried out a few of their bikes, just sat on them, kind of rode them a little bit. And then when we went to Costco, we found a few cheaper ones that we just tried a little bit in the store. And you could tell that they were kind of cheap, but this one is very high quality. I can tell it's made to last long, which I really like. Um, and it looks very sleek and modern, which I also like. I'm really big into like 
um, branding. So if it looks good, I feel like I'm more, I'm more willing to make a purchase if the branding looks good. I don't know, that's weird, but it's true. Another thing that I really like is that the bike comes with little dumbbells that you can put here and you can add them into your workouts. The shoes you have to get separately or you can get a package. Thankfully ours came with shoes because the previous owners had got, gotten the package. I will say a con is that they are really kind of hard to get clipped in. I'll show you that before I ride, but it, it takes a lot of practice to figure out how to clip them in and how to put them back in. So honestly, I just literally <laughs> take, I just unstrap and then put my foot in and then strap back in and then when I'm done with the workout I just take my foot out because I'm too lazy to constantly mess around with it but yeah if you have any tricks definitely leave them in the or in the comments box below because I would love any advice I can get about clipping in and out of the peloton because I think it's kind of a pain in the butt another thing that I like about the peloton is that it comes with this heart rate monitor which is great. I found that it is a very accurate too compared to my Apple Watch. I think this is probably even more accurate, honestly. It just straps around your, like under your bus. And then it tells you on the monitor what your heart rate is and what your like, what zone you're in for like fat burning or endurance. And then it tells you at the end of your workout how many calories you burned. And I just think it's really great, especially for people that don't have like a fitness tracking watch um, to track your calories and kind of see where you're at. Another thing that I like, which I think we broke this, getting it in and out of the car. So this was our fault, not Peloton's. But I really like how it has a water bottle holder because I get so thirsty when I'm doing these rides because they're so hard. I really like that it has that so I can just grab my water. I also put my phone in this one just in case. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, the graphics on the screen are phenomenal. I think it's better than a lot of the other things that I've tried. Um, versus like, you know on treadmills, sometimes they can be pixelated. Um, on this, it's not at all. I think it has great quality and the sound is amazing too. And then I would say probably one of the other cons that I have is that the membership is pricey. I think it's $39 a month, which is a lot for a membership. But if you ride it, you know, quite a bit and you use the stretching routines, classes, the yoga classes. So yeah, it is $39 a month, so that is pretty pricey, but it's an investment. If you're trying to work out, get in shape, I think this would be a great way to like get motivated to want to work out. It's something different, something unique. Um, personally, I really like it because I like having something to push me because sometimes I don't push myself as hard as I should. Same with like weight training. Zach is there to push me, beyond my limits, this thing pushes me beyond my limits because the trainers are like, hey, kick it up a notch, turn the resistance up, you got this. Like they're just very motivating and it's nice to have that like reassurance and like motivation to just like. So although the $39 is pricey, it's a con I would say, the classes are worth it in my opinion. They're very good. And I really like that you can have access on your iPad too. So you can not only do it you know, from home, but if you're going on a trip, you can take your iPad with you and you can do workouts from your hotel or wherever you're traveling to. I think that's a great option. All in all, I think the Peloton really is worth it, but I still have to you know, test it out for a few more months to see long-term will it hold up. Um, will I run into problems with it so far? So, so far it's been amazing, but who knows what it'll be like in the future. I know a lot of people that have had their bikes for years and they love them. A lot of people on my Instagram did recommend a more affordable option for people that didn't wanna spend two grand on a bike. It is just getting a cheaper bike off of Amazon. I can link a few in the description box below from some of the most highly recommended ones off my Instagram. And then I'll also link this bike as well for you guys. But a lot of people recommended just getting a cheaper bike with the Peloton app for $39 a month, or I think it's even cheaper when you don't have a bike. Um, I'm not sure what the pricing is, but I can put that in the description box below for you guys too. I think that that would be a great option too because the classes are what like really motivates me to get going, but the quality of the bike is there. But if you are looking for a more budget friendly, affordable option, that would be a great way to go as well. All right, so that pretty much wraps up this video. If you have any other questions about the Peloton bike, leave them in the comments box below and I'd be happy to help you. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below so you never miss a video with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.